So here we are at Chibi Park Stad, which is a commercial thoroughbred breeding establishment based in the heart of the equine breeding and racing centre in Newmarket. They say horses have been here for a thousand years, going back to King Athelstan. Since then, several reigning monarchs have part owned Chibi, including King Canute, Edward the Confessor, William the Conqueror, Edward I, and Edward II. In the early 19th century, the Duke of Rutland bought Chibi Park Stad, and before long he had classic success in 1828. Henry McCalmont's 11 time winner of his 12 races who came to stand at Chibi Park Stad. And here is the plaque that commemorates this fantastic racehorse, the Triple Crown winner, and who is very much the main part of Chibley Park Stad. This stable now accommodating Pivotal, obviously, who, who needs little introduction, is now then bred by Chibley Park Stad and who at the age of 27 is still covering a select book of mares. A typical day here starts at seven with the vet arriving to examine the mares at eight each morning. A veterinary round which normally takes about two and a half hours by the time we've gone from Cheveley through Sandwich Stud, through Ashley Heath and Warren Hill Studs, all divisions of Cheveley Park Stud, which now is just under 1,000 acres in size. We employ 55 people. Fortunately, 24 of those are able to be accommodated on the stud. So during these difficult times with COVID-19, uh, isolation, self-distancing, and obviously all the precautions uh, are being taken to protect not only the staff here, but obviously those that they may come in contact with outside the stud when shopping. As I say, uh, the mares are examined. Um, the mares that have foaled normally have their first examination between six and eight days post foaling. And then we look at them again around 28 days after they fold. This is the first opportunity really when the mare could perhaps be mated back. Um, and therefore, obviously we then check the mares, see how they are, see that um, they're fully recovered from foaling and um, and then mated uh, on the recommendation of our veterinary advisor. We then look at the mares after covering, make sure they've ovulated and all being well. Um, we then see them again around 16 days post mating, where we check for pregnancy using an ultrasound machine. After that, they're checked routinely, uh, 21 days, usually around 32 days, 45 days, and then at 65 days. So here he is, twilight sun, full of the joys of spring, coming out to cover his first mare of the morning, first mare of the day, being handled by, head, uh, by John Rice, um, head of the stallion department. And as you can see, full of enthusiasm. And twilight as ever. Slightly reluctant to go back to his box. But uh, looking at a picture, one of some bike highlighting out of Twilight Mistress by the National. Trained by Henry Candy, he won two Group 1 races of Twilight Sun. He's an eight-year-old son, champion sprinter Kailaki, as a Twilight Mistress by Ben Ajwad by Rainbow Crest. He's a half-brother to the Group 
winning music master who was also group placed in the Haydock Sprint at Haydock Park. Twilight Sun was unbeaten as a two-year-old and won six races with earnings just over £700,000 in prize money. We'll now go and find him. So here he is, Twilight Sun, who uh, was trained by Henry Candy. As I say, he won six races, including the Group 1 Sprint Cup at Haydock Park. And uh, he also won the Diamond Jubilee Group 1 at Royal Ascot. He was second in the champion sprint at Ascot and is certainly a very exciting prospect as a stallion for the future. There's a good boy. Uh, so uh, he uh, retired with a time form rating of 127. He defeated 14 individual Group 1 winners and his first crop of yearlings were extremely well received last year with yearlings making up to 130,000 guineas uh, with several others making over a hundred and indeed Chibley Park Stud sold a nice colt for 85,000 guineas um, who we hope will be uh, exciting prospects going into the, two, the 2020 season. Um, he covered 145 mares in his first book, so he's got around 120 two-year-olds in training, most of which are with uh, some fantastic trainers. We have uh, eight um, two-year-olds by him. Uh, ours are with Archie Watson, um, Richard Fahey, Carl Burke, and Twilight Sun's trainer, Henry Candy. Um, he's um, got a terrific temperament. He's a little bit cheeky, a little bit sparky. Um, how would I describe him? Probably a bit of an enthusiast uh, for life. And um, never forget Henry telling me the story that uh, always, he always used to hesitate when going back to his box after working and he had to take his cap off and throw it at his bottom. And it, once it touched his bottom, he quietly walked back into the box. And he's a bit the same here. Um, he's, he's, um, that, little, that little trait has continued. So we're very much looking forward to seeing racing start. These are very difficult times for everyone. Um, the industry is very conscious of social distancing and has to be seen to doing the right thing. But it'd be wonderful to try and get racing back on track. Um, even if it's behind closed doors. And it's encouraging to see the French are considering starting racing again by mid-May. So here we have Twilight Sun, all before him, looking at picture in the April spring sunshine at Chibi Park Stud.